tribute. The, the crowd was really, really gracious to him in yes, the beginning. Yes, a lot of ups and downs. I mean, very gracious in the beginning, especially. Yeah. <laughs> a little less so right. as right. the, Once game, the game started. <laughs> it was uh, but I'm glad we got our losses out of the way early, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spectacular. Now we can just sail right to the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Vinny and Sue's. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. Of course, everything's better with a Packers victory. Here's a live look from our West Bend Tower Cam. And we have dry conditions all across southeastern Wisconsin. Starting to see the clouds breaking up a little bit and some moonlight out there as well during these pre-dawn hours. Looks like it's going to be a fairly pleasant start to the work week as far as sky conditions go. But get ready because it is going to be cold, chilly out there today, and downright cold tonight in your weather headlines for this Monday. We're calling it a mixed Monday because we'll see a mix of sun and clouds out there. Bitter blast of air rolls in. In fact, I do expect that we're going to see temperatures well below freezing in many locations tonight. A freeze warning has been issued for the entire viewing area beginning overnight tonight and rolling through 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. It'll be a bit breezy as well today, so hang on to your hats. Outside right now, not so bad, really. I mean, fairly mild for this time of year, this time of the morning. Problem is, we're not going to budge much from here. We're 39 in Waukesha, West Bend, and Port. It's 38 in Beaverdam and 42 in Whitewater. Satellite and radar combination across the upper Midwest showing this little counterclockwise swirl. This is a low pressure center with the trailing cold front that has pushed through the area. The showers from yesterday now down to our southeast. And notice off to the west, not a significant amount of clearing. However, we will get some sunshine breaking through these clouds. The more significant thing is in the upper levels of the atmosphere, the jet stream diving way down to the south and allowing cold air to sink in with it has polar origins. I mean, polar origins, right? Sinking down <laughs> to the north central part of the U.S. So get ready for that cold air around here. Your storm team forecast for today looks like it's going to be very chilly, only up to about 45 degrees with partly to mostly cloudy skies, rather breezy as well. Tonight we're down to 28 degrees, clear to partly cloudy, and look for widespread frost, a hard freeze expected across the area, even along the lake. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, very chilly, up to 43 degrees. And for tomorrow night, we're down to 30, still cold for this time of year. Here it comes, Milwaukee's one and only 3D HD 10-day outlook. And boy, it doesn't look like any big storms or significant precipitation this week. The most significant thing, Caitlin, this week and into next will be the temperatures, which will be about 10 to 15 degrees below average. Time to put the layers on. Oh, absolutely. All right. Thanks, Scott, and good morning, everybody. Well, it's a